Welcome to DIY Saturday with me, your host, Shandera. Hey, all you savvy naturalistas. Welcome to DIY Saturday. Today, we're making a clay salt bar. Initially, I wanted to call this a detox salt bar because after I made the lavender salt bar, because you know we're in monsoon season and I'm just having so many issues with my sinuses and the weather, so anything to keep me calm helps. And lavender is one of those things that keeps my head from feeling like there's too much pressure on it. So I started to do some research on salt and you know, salt is so amazing. I know many people feel like salt can be bad when you eat it, but when you're actually putting it on the outside of your body, it is so amazing. It actually detoxifies, it detoxifies the body. It actually draws impurities from the body, like certain metals outside of the body. And so that's what we're making today, a clay salt bar. And I really wanted to call it a detox salt bar, but then we added clay to the salt bar just to tighten the skin a little bit after we draw out the impurities. And so now it's a clay salt bar. So that's what we're gonna call this DIY for this Saturday. That's when I learned it actually detoxifies impurities from the body, which was so amazing to me. I just like couldn't believe it. And I'm going to leave links where I found that information so you guys can read up if you decide. And it's going to be in the blog post. So if you find me through the YouTube channel, make sure you click the link down below with the blog post. And you can read the link to the other link to get you to where I learned this information at. Yeah. So... Let's get into what you'll need. I already mentioned you need a salt, but I just wanted to tell you guys that because I thought it was just so, you know, amazing. So, uh, you need salt, but you will also need melt and pour soap. Now, most people are soapers. They make theirs the cold process way, but we're just going to use melt and pour soap because it's easier for us to use. You will also need... Um, Glycerin. Now, I found this at Walmart. You can find glycerin anywhere you like. If you just want to go to a local Walmart, you can and you'll find glycerin. I actually found it in the first aid section, I think. I think I said that in the last video, but if I did it, I found it like the, you know, where the cuts and bruises section is, you guys. <laughs> you will also need bentonite clay. If you don't have any bentonite clay, I think you can find this at any craft store or you can find it at Walmart, I think. I am not sure, but I know you can use any clay if you don't have bentonite clay. I just like bentonite clay because it tends to tighten the skin and draws out more impurities. So if I can have the salt drawing out impurities and the bentonite clay drawing out impurities, I'm getting a double dose, you guys, you know, just work with the work with me <laughs> you will also need miracle glow oil which you can find at savvynaturalista.com uh miracle glow oil adds moisture back into the skin so that's why we're using miracle glow oil and you will need any of your favorite essential oils i'm going to use a blend of lavender and orange and patchouli but you can use any essential oils you like and this is just because you guys i'm craving patchouli right now the smell and you guys know the pressure is killing me so i'm just uh so let's go make our salt clay bars you guys so we're about to make our detox salt bar so i want to let you guys know what i did off camera of course i melted down 12 to 14 ounces of melting pour soap and that's anywhere between a cup to a half a cup to two cups of melting pour soap no more than two cups of melting pour soap do you want and i melted it in a microwave it's really hot right now so i get to talk to you guys before we start the whole process what i did in here was use my sea salt epsom salt mixture 
with bentonite clay. So if you don't want to make the whole mixture and you have sea salt laying around, you can do about two tablespoons of Epsom salt and two tablespoons of sea salt. Mix that together. Then you wanna add your one tablespoon of bentonite clay. And then after you add that, you mix it together again. And then you wanna add your five tablespoons of glycerin to the top and mix it around and you get this really goopy mixture, which is still pretty goopy. And so far what I've been doing, and I'm just using a paintbrush. You know, you use the utensils you have and I didn't have anything smaller to where I didn't want it to go all over the place. And sometimes I'm really lazy. I don't like to clean a lot of dishes, so I use whatever I have and this was just easy. So this is just a little paintbrush that I got from Michaels when I was into my painting phase in life, which I still do paint sometimes, but not a lot. So I'm just using it to, of course not a lot because I'm using it to mix this mixture. <laughs> so I haven't added Miracle Glow Oil yet, which you can find at SavvyNaturalista.com. I haven't added that to this mixture. I also haven't added our fragrance oils. Today we're using fragrance oils. Normally I do use essential oils in this process, However, I made it all ready with essential oils when I was testing it. I did it about two or three times with essential oils. So today, we're going to do something different for Josh, and we're going to use fragrance oils that I got at a craft store. And I'm gonna use about two, about 0.25 ounces or about 0.2 ounces. I really don't know how to say it. Like. One time I was talking to Josh and Josh was telling me, oh, you, I say 0 0.50, I don't say 0 0.5, I say 0 0.50. So <laughs> you guys, that's just how I am. I say 0 0.50, I like to add the zero at the end. So it's 0.25, which is about, I'm using a pipette with it. So it's about six to seven milliliters, which is, and this is a three milliliter pipette. So if you guys see me, uh, squeeze about more than enough it's because this is a three milliliter pipette and I'm gonna need about seven milliliters of this fragrance oil and that's about 0.25 ounces I don't know I may be off just a little bit forgive me if I am my math is off but if you want to look up the direction I mean the uh, 0.25 ounces you can but normally, when I did this with the essential oils, if you don't want to use fragrance oils or you don't want to use that, you can use um, what you can use about twenty to uh, thirty drops of essential oils. So let's get this process on the road. What I'm going to do is mix this a little bit more because I want to get it all in. Is the soap still pretty hot? Yes, it is. Oh, and I have this for, um, and little paper towels because I don't want to get anything dirty. I'm starting to be a little more cleaner around the soap. I mean, the DIY headquarters. So, just plop that in like so. And you want to make sure that all the mixture is mixed together. You don't want to have any clumps. Uh, normally, um, if you have clumps, it just looks tacky. It won't be as pretty. So you want to make sure it's lovely looking. And then you just stir this really nice. This is pretty easy part. Just stir. You guys, honestly, I'm really getting obsessed with coloring. I just don't know why. I love to color these days. It's such a beautiful passing of time coloring. It relaxes me. I don't know why, it's so therapeutic. Okay, so that part is done. Now you wanna add your 20 drops of Miracle Glow Oil, which you can find at SavvyNaturalista.com.
that's one too many drops but I like to add moisture and this is for Josh and for Josh some odd reason Josh doesn't like to put lotion on so any more oils in his body that I can add I'm all for it you guys now we're going to add our um, fragrance oils now this is for man and I'm very sensitive to fragrances, so I really haven't smelled this. Josh told me it was really good. And I don't like to smell stuff. And it's really power overpowering right now. And I'm like, oh, oh. But <laughs> we're going to add uh, seven milliliters of this. If you have a pipette, it's seven. If you don't have a pipette, I would suggest you get a scale. I have a scale, so that's how I measure it. This is the scale I use. I've been using it forever. It's my beat up scale. So if you don't have a scale, you can use a food scale if you like. If you don't have a food scale, uh, you can use anything you have, but it's 0.25 milliliters. And we're going to, no, seven milliliters, you guys, seven. And sometimes I have a hard time with the, um, oh, this stuff is strong. Oh, woo. Sometimes I have a hard time with the pipit getting all the way to the three. So if you have that uh, problem, don't worry. So I'm gonna let a little out. But Josh loves his fragrances strong. I don't know if I could sleep at night with him with all this fragrance oil, but I'm gonna let them sit because hopefully if they sit for a little, some of it will go out, but oh, my house is gonna be smelling like a man. <laughs> you guys ah, that's funny okay oh this is too strong for me my poor nose oh you guys this is pretty strong I am very sensitive to fragrances so woo, woo. very very sensitive you guys very sensitive you see me choking up already I am very sensitive to fragrances but I do it. I like certain fragrances that are natural. That's why I do the essential oils. Remember, essential oils are fragrances as well, you guys, but they're of a natural scent. This is pretty strong. This is not a synthetic fragrance, but woo, woo, it is strong. It may look brown, so I better hurry up and photograph these before the soap turns brown. Okay, so, because it has vanilla in this. So, for visual effect, I'm adding tea. You don't have to add this and you don't have to add fragrance oils to your detox salt bar. But because I've already made it when I was testing it, I really enjoyed it. But this is for Josh because Josh um, is the part of me that tends to be more westernized. I was saying, I don't, I don't know the word for it. I don't know if it's westernized or not, but I'm just saying westernized. And he tends to um, help me... <laughs> be balanced because if it was up to me we would live somewhere with the Amish people on a farm uh helping raise cattle you know just living off the land like a prepper that's how I am so oh, I love that life and my sister always goes to Amish country when she's in Philadelphia and it makes me so mad sometimes because I want to go okay so you can use uh alcohol so the last would be just a little little chunky but most of the salt was incorporated into the bars it did not fall down depending on how well you mix it with the glycerin it will not you may need a little less or a little more it all depends on your bars but i would say no more than five tablespoons so beautiful you guys Remember, alcohol is your friend with melting pour soap. I just didn't have any. Woo, these babies are strong. I can melt it up my nose. All you guys who are very sensitive to fragrances understand my, my plight right now. But I'm not as bad off as some people. Some people who are really sensitive to fragrances, it goes up their nose and they pass out. They get extreme headaches. It's not that bad for me yet, but I just, you know... It just chokes me up, sort of. So, these are our bars. We're going to unmold them, and I'll be back to show you what they look like. 
So we're back you guys and I just wanted to show you guys what they look like outside of the mold. Uh, I would have unmolded them with you guys but I'm in a rush to photograph them so I'm running around with my hair cut off like a chicken trying to figure out oh I need to get this I need to get that so I just really wanted to show you guys what they look like. Uh, so let's get into it and I put this glove on because when I photograph I don't want smudges on them from my fingerprints and these are really slippery number one is really humid uh, and hot and it's you know just slippery so this is what they look like look how beautiful they are And if you don't want any holes, uh, any of the little holes in them or bubbles, you can use alcohol. So <laughs> I really, really want to show you guys another one. Which one? <laughs> we'll show you this one because it's really thick and nice. So this is what they look like. And this is the bag because I accidentally moved it while it was still uh dry uh trying to get solid so sorry about that anyways i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you in my next diy make sure you pick up america glow oil at savvynaturalisa.com make sure you subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching